Hi guys, I'm Nikki and this is Backyard Politics. This is Mark Gamba. He's running for Oregon's Congressional 5th District. Currently, the proud moderate and blue dog dem Kurt Schrader holds the position of Oregon's 5th Congressional District. He's a millionaire who takes money from his corporate donors and has voted against his own party more than 63% of the time. Being a moderate on climate change is a death sentence. Keep Oregon green isn't supposed to be referring to money in politics. In 2016, Schrader married lobbyist and giant energy provider Pepco exec Susan Mora. And this is a uh, map of where, whoops, wait for that to go away. This is a map of where the energy provider provides its energy. According to the American Cons Customer Satisfaction Report in 2017, Pepco was voted the most hated company in America and was found to have violated the Clean Water Act, which resulted in a $1.6 million fine. So this is the company that our district rep, Schrader, currently, this is who his wife works for, and she's a lobbyist. Follow the money. In 2018, Schrader received a D rating from the League of Conservation Voters. And I wanted to show you a link here. <clears throat> so, if we go down on here, the X's right here are every time he voted against the environment, okay? So we have against climate change, dirty energy, and drilling. Then we can go down here and we have he's against oceans and clean water, wildlife, more oceans, clean air, clean water, clean energy, clean water, clean water, lands and forest. That's just in 2018. Yeah. There's more, so I'm not going to go through them all, but I want to show you this. So right off the bat here, nuclear storage, climate change, climate change, water, wildlife, water, lands, forests, you get the picture. <clears throat> so... Also in 2018, Schrader brought in $1,463,906 from PAC contributions, but only 59,700 in small individual donors. That's because I don't see a lot of small individual donors supporting somebody like this. He takes money from the oil and gas industry and the corporate forestry. So what you can take away from that is he's voting in favor of corporate interests and not in favor of the actual person that he's supposed to represent who actually pays for his paycheck. So this is Mark Gamba at the Bike Portland event. Milwaukee, Oregon Mayor Mark Gamba is challenging Schrader in the primary on May 9th. Gamba has transformed the city of Milwaukee and made it one of the most climate-friendly cities in the state. Thanks to his leadership, Milwaukee will run on 100% renewable electricity by 2035. It is investing in environmentally friendly transportation infrastructure that will make the city the only ADA-compliant city in the state over the next nine years and is in the process of planting tens of thousands of trees. Milwaukee will be carbon neutral by 2050. All thanks to Mark Gamba. So yesterday uh, morning, I came across this tweet of his, of Mark's, and it says, We just unanimously passed a resolution declaring a state of climate emergency for the city of Milwaukee, Oregon. We're the first city in Oregon to do so. That is fantastic. So if, if a mayor can do something like this, then why can't a sitting congressman do something more than 
mediocrity. Congressmen like Schrader are blocking installing action on climate change because of their corporate donors. We could have real climate change policies in place if it weren't for the corrupt politicians and their donors. This is why we need to elect a progressive like Mark Gamba, who runs a grass, grassroots campaign. This is the only way that we're going to save our planet. So the ways to get involved, you can sign up to volunteer and don't, or you can donate or both to markgamba.com. He doesn't take any corporate money, so we need to support him as individual donors. Um, and there's canvassing in Salem this Saturday. Uh, I'm going to be going door-to-door -door knocking, giving people info about Mark Gamba. And if you guys want to join, that'd be freaking awesome. You can either contact me if you know me, or you can DM me on Twitter, um, or go to markgamba.com, and it'll direct you to the volunteer spot, and it'll get you all set up with that. So... This is one of the best ways to spread the news through our, our city and through the neighborhoods. Um, register to vote. Do not forget to register to vote. I believe you have to be registered as a Democrat. Sorry, my husband's making noise upstairs. Um, I believe you have to be registered as a Democrat to vote in the Democrat primaries. Um, I'm not sure on Oregon specific law, but I think that's the case. So register. And uh, spread the word by liking and sharing this video and subscribing to this channel. I'm going to continue to do videos on why we should pick uh, Mark Gamba over Kurt Schrader and um, other progressive videos like anti-war, climate change, everything like that. So if we're going to do anything <laughs> to save the planet, we need to vote locally and do uh, and support local progressives so that when they get elected, they can help out people like Bernie Sanders or Tulsi Gabbard in actually passing these policies. So that being said, don't forget to like and share this video, um, subscribe to it, share it on your uh, social medias, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got. Um, make sure everybody sees it. Talk to your friends about Mark Gamba if they don't know about him. And until next time, Medicare be with you.